Welcome to Everything is Messy, the podcast. I'm your host, Kellyanne Gorman. I'm someone who loves to create content, products, and services to help others level up in business and in life. I even wrote a book about it, and now I have a store. Everything is Messy is a one-stop shop for women who want it and deserve it all. From personal development to productivity, podcasting and publishing, small business strategies to entrepreneurship, and so much more. Tune in every week to enjoy this one-of-a-kind podcast experience and hear fun, fearless, and focused conversations from myself and my incredible guests from trending topics to stories of resilience and all things business. And let's not forget about a few of my favorites, mindset, healthy recipes, and organizing tips. These episodes are created to get you to where you want to be right now. The purpose of the show is to motivate you, inspire you, and prove to you that anything is possible if you just put in the work. So grab your favorite notebook and pen because it's time to get organized and turn those dreams of yours into reality. I'm living proof that manifesting and visualizing and having a never give up attitude work. And now it's my job to help you achieve your goals by doing the same or just to provide some laughs along the way. I'm so glad you are here. Today's episode starts now. Hello, hello, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Everything is Messy podcast. I'm your host, Kelly Ann Gorman, and you are listening to episode number 288. And if you are a content creator like myself, then you know that the struggle is real lately when it comes to views. It has been the most frustrating thing, and I swear to God, like, I hate paying for ads. This is why I created my affiliate program, which I'll get into later on, but I prefer paying people over corporations. I hate paying for ads, but sometimes you just have to suck it up and you have to pay to play. And I'm testing a few things out over on Pinterest, but I really do not want to give my money to Facebook and Instagram. I like it better when they pay me. You know what I'm saying? When I go live, I get a check. That's great. I don't like to pay for content that's still not going to get views. And this isn't really happening. It's I feel like a 50-50. So one of my clients, her name is Claudia. Her handle is The Beauty Debut. And she's a pro-aging extraordinaire. And she is killing it on her Instagram, on her reels. Look at her numbers, her views. It's absolutely insane the amount of engagement and views that she's getting. Where some of mine right now have like literally two views. It's so frustrating. But I'm going to share with you my tips and tricks on what I do. So that I'm not like constantly frustrated because it's really hard. Because a lot of other content creators I've been talking to were like, oh my god, our views are down. Like, it's so fucking frustrating. So I'm going to share with you that, first of all, I'm on every single platform. And you probably know that. But it's like, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Medium, Pinterest, YouTube. Like, all of them. And TikTok, and it's just like now Facebook has Reels, and now they have audio rooms, and Twitter has a professional dashboard now, as well as Spaces, and you can become blue and subscribe and pay monthly. They have Twitter Moments, they have a monetization, and that's just Twitter right there. Like it's so overwhelming. Like every day something launches, you know. And then, um, what was that audio room? I don't even have the app anymore. I deleted it because I, I never used it. And so many people ask me like, I'm surprised you're not on that all the time because, oh, Clubhouse. I'm just surprised you're not on Clubhouse since you're like such a big podcaster. I'm like, I talk all the time. Why do I want to like talk in a room again? Like come listen to my show. That's how I felt. And now I feel like it's dead. Although I keep getting emails from big influencers that they're like killing it on, on Clubhouse. So it really is... Um, I guess where your following likes to come and hang out with you, that's kind of what it comes down to, I feel like. But also, it's the holiday season. There's Black Friday sales. Like, every company is paying to play on the shopping sales and all the discounts and just, like, paying for ads on ads and ads. And some of us smaller content creators, like, we don't want to do that. But I am doing it on Pinterest, and I'll share with you my thoughts in a little bit. But when it comes to content, so... I, like I mentioned earlier, I'm on every single platform and I repurpose my content like nobody, nobody's business. And I am the queen bee of organization, especially when it comes to planning up my content and repurposing is key. Consistency is key. Making sure that you are organized with what you want to share and what platform is so important. I have a very 
strategic schedule and strict schedule when it comes to my content that I post and what type of content that I post every single day of the week. Sometimes I'm late, that's life, but I do adhere to a schedule that I've created for my planner, for everything in my office, for everything digitally, and every single thing I write down is color-coded with a highlighter. I mean, if you're if you've been following me for a while, then you already know that. I just that is my way. And now I have access to providing and writing LinkedIn newsletters. I've been blogging on Medium. I'm repurposing my shows to YouTube. And now I have finally, over a year, I've been waiting for this. And I was so annoyed because um, I had access to the LinkedIn articles feature. Like I was writing when I lived in Vegas. That was so long ago. And I was one of the very first ones they rolled it out to. So I'm like, oh, they're going to do the same thing when it comes to LinkedIn live. And I wanted to go live on LinkedIn so badly. And I literally just got approved and it was over a year. And I'm on LinkedIn every single day. And I actually just posted a job for my affiliate program because I was hiring for that. And it's so crazy how, and I got a three day paid ad. So I'm really testing the numbers Um, because I'm definitely going to cancel it after that if I don't get the type of people that I want involved in my affiliate program. And half of them have ghosted me. And this just goes to show, like, the world is a crazy place right now because you go to stores and restaurants and you get the shittiest service or there's no service because they don't have bodies that are working. And then I have friends in retail and friends in other companies that are hiring or they were looking for jobs and it's like they can't find a job. Or they can't find the right candidate. And then I have people blowing me up. Like I have hundreds of views on my job posting on LinkedIn. And all these people were messaging me like I'm so excited. And then it comes down to an interview. They totally ghost me. Or we're on the interview and they're like mentally uh, like not there. And I'm like I want you nowhere near my brand. Like nope. Goodbye. And when it comes to what I work on. I'm extremely passionate about it. And I'm sure you know that if you're not new here. And I put my heart and soul in every single thing that I do when I write, when I record, just everything. And so it's really important. You know, speaking of LinkedIn, it was LinkedIn and what was the other one? Um, Twitter that had the stories feature and then that disappeared. So you have to be really strategic when it comes to your content. Some people only use one platform and I'm trying so hard to narrow things down So going back to the LinkedIn aspect, now that I've live, I've been pulling my audience over on LinkedIn and I'm asking them like, what do you want me to create content for? Like, because I do a lot of things and I have a lot of followers for different reasons, whether it's my healthy recipes or my podcasting, my patient advocacy, my productivity, like I do a lot and I know that. And that's why it's really hard for me in particular to narrow things down to like one thing on social media one platform, I should say, and one niche. Like I've never been that type of person and never will I be, I don't think, (laughs) because I've just always had my hands in a lot of different activities and I'm a full-blown Gemini and that's just the way that I like it. So I think that I've narrowed it down. Well, these were the options that I pulled on LinkedIn. Like if I'm going to start creating more content on LinkedIn and going live on more, um, you know, doing live more, Jesus Christ, I can't talk, more, (laughs) more live broadcasts. Um, what do you want me to talk about? So do you want me to talk about podcasting? Do you want me to talk about patient advocacy? Do you want me to share more healthy recipes? Not a lot of people do that on LinkedIn. So I feel like maybe I should start. Um, I do share a few, but not as much as I have on my Instagram and TikTok. That's for sure. And then should I be sharing more productivity and organizational tips? And it's 50-50 right now, podcasting and productivity and organization. So that just goes to show me like, wow, like this isn't the food place or where I should be talking about patient advocacy, which I'm kind of surprised because I really thought that would be a good home for LinkedIn. However, on my Twitter, I have thousands and thousands of views on one tweet. And that tweet is a post from... LinkedIn or Medium, one of my blogs, which is also repurposed and it's a podcast episode. I've never had that many views so fast. And that's about patient advocacy. So maybe Twitter is my home for patient advocacy and I'll start doing more audio there. I'm not sure. So my question to you is, 
where would you like me to focus when it comes to live video on my social media? And you can text this to me. You can leave me a review on Apple Podcasts or Audible, wherever you're listening. Shoot me a DM anywhere online, Kelly and Gorman Official, and just let me know because it will really help me cre- you know, create the best content I possibly can for you. So here are the options. Podcasting, productivity and organization, healthy recipes, or patient advocacy. That's four. I've narrowed it down to four. That's pretty good because it should have been 24. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, I wanted to, you know, talk to you guys about that and really see like, what do you want me to talk to you about most? And speaking of productivity and organization, I was emailed by Pinterest to pitch them some TV ideas and Pinterest is rolling out another here. I'll share about my um, paid ads. It's getting a lot of traffic. I don't have as many sales as I would want by now, but I am paying for a five day ad, but my stats are getting increased like astronomically. And maybe because it's just, I did a five day ad spend and it's really not a lot of money, but I'm just testing the algorithm over there and to see what happens when you pay to play. So Pinterest is rolling out so many things with the idea pens. They do live TV shows and they want some ideas. So I was thinking about, see, Pinterest is totally different. That's where my healthy recipes will thrive for sure. So I definitely want to do like healthy holiday recipes or just healthy recipes for the new year, something like that. And then I definitely want to do something like um, organization, like new year, new you, but like that's so overused. So I'll definitely call it, title it something else and productivity, especially in the new year. I feel like now everybody's like in full blown holiday mode. Uh, Thanksgiving is just a couple days away. And then a lot of people, they're either hard, hardcore like myself like working through the holidays and then preparing for a whole new year or they're just checked out. And then when they come back for the new year, they're like, okay, I need to get my shit together. So start that now, by the way, start it now. Like you don't need to wait till next year, like get your shit together now. And if you need help, feel free to purchase my book. (laughs) It's 20% off right now. Um, because that will help you get to exactly where you need to be in business and life. But like, why are you procrastinating? Why? Get it together and just start focusing on the goals that you want and manifest it and visualize it. And I promise you it will come into fruition because it everything in my life has. And when I'm constantly writing down like all these Pinterest TV ideas and live TV, which I haven't done in a really long time. And usually I was behind the scenes painting faces. So now it's like I'm on air talent. Like that's weird. But I'm really excited about it. And I want to just help as many people as I possibly can. So I think by narrowing it down to healthy recipes and organizing and productivity, really that would be best. I mean, if I could go on live and do something about how to organize your medical records, that would be amazing, but I just don't think Pinterest is a place for that. Um, I think it's just better on my YouTube. That's where that content might be, but also TikTok because I have so many views and shares on anything patient advocacy over there. So as you can see, like if you're not really into content creation, here's like a behind the scenes look. Like all of your content and types of content will thrive on one platform and get zero views on another. So it really depends and it's like a little puzzle piece and you really got to work through it to see like what works. And then just stay cons- as consistent as you can. And you definitely need to be organized and scheduled. Like I said earlier, like my schedule and my routine and how I prepare my content is very, very organized and you just need to find your own way. Some people love the Google calendars. Some people love Trello. Some people like a notebook. Some people like highlighters. Like just find a way that you feel most comfortable using to get organized. But that is the struggle with the content creation right now, especially during the holidays. And I just wanted to like give my two cents on this topic because I've been talking about it with so many people online that I wanted to bring it on over here to the show and really ask you like, what type of content do you want me to create for live video? Because that's going to be different from the podcast. Maybe you don't even follow me anywhere online and that's okay too. But maybe if you have some other suggestions for the show, if you don't want to hear certain things, like seriously, let me know. I want to hear all of it. You can text me. The number will be in the show notes. It's 310-461-7051. Text me there if you want and let me know your two cents. Or you can, again, follow me anywhere online and shoot me a DM. 
the best place to get all my news first is through my newsletter, which by the way, I'm so excited. I'm doing a 12 days of Christmas holiday giveaway. So from December 1st until the 12th, I'm giving away like massive gifts every single day. I've been pitching brands and brands and brands and pitching and brands and brands like over and over again for the last couple of weeks. And I finally have, um, it narrowed down to the ones and I have products coming and I have products already here and I'm putting together the best holiday gifts and like bundles, gift baskets. I don't even know what I want to call them yet, but they're getting sent to you in your home. And the only way that you can win is if you are signed up for my newsletter. So if you don't have access to that yet, just head to everythingismessy.com, click newsletter, sign up, you're in. Now, if you want to make some extra holiday income, I am paying commission every single Friday. It used to be once a month for my affiliate program. Now, you're probably wondering, like, what the hell is this? How does this work? You receive a discount code that you can share with your friends, your family, your followers, whoever you want to share it with. That gives them 20% off within the Everything is Messy collection. So it can be any of my business, LinkedIn, podcasting programs in school, my business and life coaching programs. It can be any of my apparel and merch or the kitchen, home and office decor, all of it. Every single item is 20% off with the discount code that you share for your, again, to your friends, family, and followers. Plus free shipping because I absolutely hate to pay for shipping. So you'll also get free shipping. That obviously only works for the apparel and the merchandise. So you will then, after you get sales, receive a 20% commission that I pay out every single Friday. There's nothing better than passive income. I've done so many shows on this. I've done so many TikToks on this. Passive income is the way to go. So if you would like to become an affiliate for Everything is Messy Collection, all you need to do is sign up. And then if you have a very specific code you would like, because I like everybody to be on brand, if they do have a brand, just let me know. And then I can um, generate it just for you to have that so it is on brand. So if you have a podcast, if you have a YouTube channel, you pop it in your notes and boom, people shop and you make money. I mean, there's seriously nothing better than that. And the reason why I prefer, like I mentioned again earlier, I prefer to pay humans than corporations. And, you know, I created this affiliate program in 2017 because I was getting so my business right now is uh, and always has been 100% referral based. I'm extremely, extremely lucky. That is not the norm. It's very rare. And I pride myself on the service that I give my clients and my guests. So I wanted to do something as a thank you. So all of my clients since 2017, either some of them I'm still working with or they keep coming back or they're referring me to somebody else. They're always still in my circle. So they always get 20% commission when they send me somebody new or a product or whatever. So I just wanted to do something special and this has been happening for years, but now I'm really bringing on a team because I think that it's such a great opportunity to generate revenue and have another income stream to your business or just to your household. So if you're interested in that, in that again, just go to everythingismessy.com. You can sign up for the newsletter, shop the entire collection, become an affiliate, all that good stuff. And then what else did I want to share with you? I have some extra discount codes for you um, right now that if you want to start your holiday shopping. So these will all be in the show notes, by the way. It's 15% off Super Coffee. If you haven't seen my latest post, like I've been obsessed for over a year and now we're working together and I'm so excited. And I have another special delivery coming for the 12 days of Christmas holiday giveaways. So you have to be on my newsletter for that. Like it's so good. Um, If you want to start shopping now, 15% off. And if you spend 50 bucks, I believe it is, you get free shipping. So use my code super Kelly. Again, all all of this info will be in the show notes. You'll get 15% off. There's nothing better than 15% off super coffee. I can promise you that it's plant-based. They have MCT oil, It's sweetened with monk fruit. There's no additional sugars. Like, the shit is delicious. 20% off my collection using Holiday 20. Um, What's another one I wanted to share with you? Okay, the Fetch Rewards app. I'm obsessed. I have, like, almost 30,000 points on my app right now. Fetch Rewards app. You download it. Use my code. It's in the show notes. And you will get an additional 2,000 points just for signing up. What is this app? You take a picture of your receipts. It scans it. It gives you points. 
What do you do with the points? You use them to give yourself gift, buy yourself gift cards or shop online or donate to a charity. And you can actually track your spending. So every month I look to see like if that matches up my budget. You remember if you've been listening to the last couple of shows, I've been talking about passive income and budgeting and money. And every single day I write down how much I'm spending because if I want to live on the Upper East Side again, Upper East Side in New York again, and still be in San Diego and be by coastal, I need to track my pennies. And that is exactly what I'm doing. So Fetch Rewards app helps me in a major way. So if you sign up using my code, you'll get an additional 2,000 points. And I keep getting all these notifications because during the holidays, they have so many different contests that you can get like 20,000 additional points. It's insane. So sign up using my code just to give you free points. I mean, there's nothing better than that. And then lastly, I wanted to uh, share one of my new sponsors is HoneyBook. And it's an all-in-one platform for the business professional like myself, like you. If you own a business, you can literally have every single thing that you need to run. It's a one-stop shop. It's all in one place. So I'm talking proposals, contracts, schedules, invoices, automation. You know, I automate the hell out of everything. Everything is messy is a code that's going to give you 50% off your yearly purchase price. And that is a steal. The link will be in the show notes. Just check it out. It's honeybook.com. And this code is valid for US and Canada residents only. I just wanted to share that. And then lastly, I'm so excited because you know my little notebook page. Um, You know me, nice and organized with my little notebook. I have so many shows I wanted to record before the holiday. So I'm doing that now. Um, we have a book winner. Her name is Jody. She's a new listener. It's a signed copy. And Jody, when I see you next, maybe Thursday, I think, I'm not sure. Um, it'll be in your hands. So thank you for listening, everybody. I'm so excited to be sharing all this holiday goodness with you. Please make sure that you are signed up for my newsletter. These giveaways, I have never worked with so many brands. I've never received so much product. I've never been so excited to wrap these bundles of joy up to you and stand in line at the post office to send them on their merry little way. So thanks again for listening and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks so much for tuning in to Everything is Messy, the podcast. If you enjoyed what you heard today, I would love to know. Just leave me a review on the app or website you're listening on. To learn more about myself, join the community, read my book, or shop the collection, visit everythingismessy.com. While you're there, be sure to sign up to receive my weekly newsletter so you get all my announcements first. For all the behind the scenes and day-to-day content, follow along on Instagram at Kellyanne Gorman Official and Everything is Messy Collection. Links are in the show notes. If you have a product, brand, story, or service, you would like to share, send me a message on everythingismessy.com today. As always, thanks for listening, sharing, and reviewing. It truly means the world to me. Wishing you a happy, healthy, positive, and productive day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Everything is Messy is produced and syndicated under A Million Dreams Publishing. For more information on how you can launch your own book, podcast, or digital series, visit amilliondreamspublishing.com.